Awesome. Hey, everybody. Happy August. Uh, the end of the summer, the last month of the summer. Um, and of course, as always, I feel like I say this every month. I'm excited to jump into this with you guys. And the theme this month is intimacy and obedience. And I know I'm looking forward to just continuing to understand uh, what it looks like to be intimate with God, to be obedient, and the correlation between the two. And our theme scripture comes from 1 John chapter 2, verse 5 and 6. It says, But whoever keeps his word in him, truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. Whoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. So here's this correlation of walking with God and abiding with him. And so I pray that this month, as we think about this theme, that we will draw close to him, not only in feeling, but also in our life in obedience. And I believe that there's a fruit that will come from that. So I pray that this month's theme and study in the Bible will bless you. Um, for our body, uh, we're going to focus on upper body and core. And we'll have a little core challenge each day. You're going to have a core exercise. It starts off for about a minute and a half a day. By the last week of the month, we're up to about four, four and a half minutes. And the last few days of the month, we'll be at five minutes a day of core work. Very simple things that you can do each day to help strengthen your core. And we'll add in some upper body as well. So in your email, we'll be throwing in some exercises and different ways to do them so that you can be successful in strengthening your core and your arms uh, for this month. This month, when we look at nutrition, we're going to be talking about small ways to eliminate sugar. And a lot of times when you, you hear that, it can feel overwhelming because you may think of you know, going cold turkey and eliminating sugar and just being really, really crazy and radical and, and get unnerved. But we're going to dive into what it looks like, again, to have small ways to eliminate sugar. We'll look at how to do that day in and day out, one day at a time, and just really understanding the impact that sugar has on our systems. So we are going to take it slow, give you some helpful tips and ideas and walk with you through it so that we can all be successful just in really cutting back on our sugar because it, it's so, so present everywhere, but really ultimately it doesn't benefit us. So our theme for that, we're going to be focusing on eliminating in small ways, eliminating sugar. Uh, when it comes to our spiritual focus, we're going to be looking at dates with God. As Jennifer mentioned at the beginning of um, the, the video, she was talking about the theme, we're talking about intimacy. And when you think about any other relationship you have, maybe with a significant other, your spouse, you know, we, intimacy is spending time. Because we spend time with each other during the course of the day. We might bump into each other, see each other, have different conversations about things. But when we talk about intimacy, we, we're looking at dates, special time set aside to really go deeper, really go into a whole nother level. So for August, we're going to be focusing on special times that we can have with God outside of our normal everyday time to really build that relationship and deepen it and take it to a whole nother level. So I'm really excited about that because I know how much I grow in my relationship with my husband when we do that. And I'm looking forward to growing in my relationship with God as we do that this month. Yeah, it's going to be so good. I'm looking forward to hearing your ideas, too, um, and being encouraged in that way. And then lastly, um, we're going to uh, have an option to do a study on obedience. It's a two-week study um, in a Bible version plan, and it says, Jesus himself said anyone who loves him will obey his teaching. No matter what it costs us personally, our obedience matters to God. The obedience reading plan walks through the scriptures uh, through what the scriptures say about obedience, how to maintain a mindset of integrity, the role of mercy, how obeying frees us and blesses our lives and more. And what I love about this study is it's one scripture. There's no devotional. You're just getting into the word. One scripture a day for two weeks. So we hope you join us in that plan as well. Yes, yes. And, you know, we've covered our different thing, themes and things, focuses for 
the month of August, and it can seem overwhelming, but I just want to encourage you to walk through it one day at a time and just really lean into the idea of building your intimacy with God. You know, we're not looking for perfection. God isn't looking for it. We're expecting perfection from you, but he does want you to go to him and build with him. And so I'm excited for the theme. I'm excited for what we are thinking of doing and what we've laid out to do and and really growing with you in our intimacy with God and coming out at the end of the month feeling so much closer to God than we were at the very beginning of it. So I'm excited for you. I'm excited for us as we go through the month of August together. So I hope you have a wonderful month. Talk to you later. Bye.